chartered accountants, cost accountants, and company secretaries, Amendment Bill 2022. Sir, ICAI Act 1949, which governs the activities of the chartered accountants in India, is a 73 years old uh, organization and under the autonomous status which was granted to it, has been working efficiently in its sphere of activities and discharging its obligations quite deftly. And under the present mechanism, there are government nominated members on the council, eight are there. May I know from the Honorable Minister what feedback the government has received regarding their work record in discharging their responsibilities as of today. You may get an insight on their work performance. So what changes government intends to bring in by appointing more non-CA members in different bodies? In respect of constitution of board of discipline and formation of discipline committee, the main objection being raised by the chartered accountants is about appointing non-chartered accountants, non-cost accountant, and non-company secretary as the presiding officer of the disciplinary committees of the respective bodies. So their contention is that this, this amendment will damage it because conduct of professionals like CA or ICWS or uh, company secretaries should be judged by the professionals of the similar nature. Similarly, coordination committee, which is of the, that is presently, it is in, in, in the shape and it is doing its job quite fairly. Then what is the necessity of bringing about one more or formation of a new coordination committee? Secondly, sir, government has already set up NFRA that is National Finance Reporting Authority to oversee the auditing profession and accounting standards in India. In 2018, it was formed. And it has the powers to investigate professional misconducts of chartered accountants for listed companies and non-listed companies also. Sir, today, more than 10,000 chartered accountants have been rendering free of charge, that is, honorary services to, in looking after the affairs of, the, of this uh, chartered accountants institution. To get into new mode, they will be, government will be making it have more expenses for that. Where would the extra expenditure would come? And that would run into crores of rupees. So only an option is that I think by revising the fee structure or registration members, the CA students will be burdened to that to meet this, extent, uh, this expenditure. So another Im important aspect of the bill is that proposed setting up of an Indian Institute of Accounting, IIA in various parts of India. Sir, IIS will offer five years degree course and all that, and they will be given certificate as CA, CPAs, and they will be given, um, they will be able to practice like chartered accountants. But what is the logic behind it when we have such a finest of three professional institutes, uh, institutes like uh, they are autonomous in nature too, then what is the, what is the, what is the purpose? Will it not create multiple of institutions? Will it not create more confusion? Will it not create, complicate the whole process? So these are the things, and to set up, I am like institute 350 crores around, our, that, that is the expenditure. This is hard on the money of the taxpayers. So why would we go for this kind of expenditures where already mechanism and infrastructure is there in place? So multiple institutions will definitely create confusion so, honorable minister, uh, honorable finance, just two minutes I'll take. We the minute, please wind up. We have some time constraints. Two minutes, sir, two uh, please understand, just honorable two member. So, we have honorable some time finance minister please had control. mentioned in Lok Sabha in a reply that big four, big four uh, international auditors, like uh, we have Deloitte, we have KPMG, we have Ernst and ENY, we have PwC is there, and to, we do not have the matching size of our chartered accountants firms at this stage. With this legislation in place, that will offer. Thank you. Let me let me complete, sir. Thank you. We please, hardly we get some please, time. Please, please conclude. If we are not given chance to make our point, I mean, what is the? Please conclude now. Please, uh, please give me two minutes. I'll just finish. So, uh, 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 so with I'm this sorry. legislation, I'm sorry, I, because I, with this uh, legislation in three place, minutes I think for every speaker, to, you have already crossed three minutes. But we should now not please conclude. That in I'll the past, the, whatever big I'll call the financial next speaker. frauds please. have taken place, these very firms. These uh, auditors were responsible for it. We do agree that Thank you. in, in Thank our you. system also there are wrongdoers, there are exceptions, but our, there are provisions in the law which take care of them, which, which is, uh, punish them, but it should not be so that just on the, on the suspicion 
with the, the chartered accountants or the uh, cost accountants should be uh, should be taken off their Thank licenses. Thank you. J.K. Basan. Sir, 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 ek, 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 ek second. Last, last point. Last I have called J.K. Basan. Last, last, last point. Please sit. Please sir, be seated. Point. I have sir, given you sir, more time. Sir, sir. Please, J.K. Basan. Please, please. Sir. Yeah, sir, please. Uh, it should come. This will not go on no, record. No, no, no. Please. Sir, it should come on record, na? Whatever I say. <laughs> <laughs>